Hello YouTube friends. I just got a package in the mail today from Michael Kors and I thought I would do an unboxing video. And I know that I don't really do too many unboxing videos recently. I think I'm down to like buying maybe a bag a month, if that. It's hard to tell because when I post my videos, they're all out of order. I film them whenever I can and then I um, pre-upload them before you see them. So they're not done on the same day. But anyhow, I have been good and decided that I would uh, look at what Michael Kors had because um, I heard that they're going to start increasing their prices and they even put out a little article about it. And I thought, ugh, well, if I want any more Michael Kors, I'm going to have to buy them used like I usually do. <laughs> um, I have three used Michael Kors bags. Then I bought a new one last year, which is the small Kareen studded satchel. And ironically, it was exactly the same price as I paid for this one down to the penny. It was so funny. So maybe once a year I buy a Michael Kors uh, brand new bag. But um, I've been looking at the Bradshaw Messenger bag for a while now and I just was in love with it. And the color luggage is the one that I wanted or the pink was pretty too. But those are over $350 and I'm just not willing to spend that price point on Michael Kors. To me they're not up there. Um, I don't know. I just, I think they're really, really overpriced um, still. And if they're going to be raising, increasing their prices even more, it's going to kind of put them out of uh, my desire to buy anymore. So anyhow, I'll get to the unboxing here. So um, I saw that they had a 70% off sale and this one popped up and this is the medium Lita. And so I want to see how it looks in person because in on the website it looked a lot like the um, Bradshaw only with a pointier flap. You'll see. It looked very similar to me. So here it is. It looks so tiny. But this is the medium size and they also have it in the small. I hope this uh, lever here is okay. It's kind of open. Now, thank goodness they sent it to me in a box with padding because I've seen some um, unboxings or unbaggings lately from Michael Kors and they've been doing what Coach has been doing recently and shipping their things out in bags instead of boxes, which in my book is not good at all. So, sent it in a very nice box. It was very well sealed. Nicely wrapped, not a return. It's sad that we have to be excited about that, isn't it? Oh, let's see, it's warm. It's about 103 out here where I live today. And this just came in the afternoon. Oh, I love that color. One of the reasons I wanted this one or even the Bradshaw is the smooth leather. This is not uh, pebbled, it's not cross grain, it's just smooth. Looks like this, no, that just wiped off. I was gonna say it looks like it had a few little scratches, but it really didn't. So let me go ahead and take off this wrapping and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, and here she is in all her glory. This is a really pretty bag. I really like this. The nice, any thumb prints are from me. <laughs> the nice smooth leather in the luggage color. It's beautiful. Let me pan out a little bit. I don't know why I got so close here. There we go. And then you've got this chain detailing on here. This chain does not remove. It's got the little Michael Kors symbol there. And then you have a removable crossbody strap that is adjustable. And it has one, two, three, four five, six, seven holes. So you've got a nice range there. If you're taller, really pretty, nice pocket in the back. Now, when I first pulled this out, I thought, oh, it looks so small. I wonder if they accidentally, now this is going to annoy me because it gets fingerprints so easily. But um, I thought, oh, is this going to annoy me because I wonder if they sent me a small instead of the medium. This one looks tiny, and I was thinking, oh, well, the 
website wasn't right. It said it was 10 inches across, but it really is from the widest point over here to the widest point over here. It is 10 inches. And on some of these reviews, I don't know if you're like me and you go and watch all these reviews on the bags that you want. You probably are if you're watching mine. <laughs> but some people's uh, little chain strap is a different um, length. Some, some of them look a lot shorter, like up here. And I guess if I wanted to make this one shorter, I could just um, hook the, maybe you could just hook this in front of it. Yeah, if you hook this in front, it would take up some space and make it a little bit shorter. So maybe that's just depending on how they hook their, um, their strap. I don't know. Or it could be wonderful quality control. Yeah, that makes it a little bit shorter too. Very pretty, pretty, pretty. And both of the straps go on the same, um, the same hooks up here. Just some hooks. I like this. It's a nice neutral size. I'm finding that I'm liking less fussy bags lately. Um, bags that don't have a whole lot of, I don't know, things to them. So if you wanted this to be more casual looking, even though the chain doesn't come off, you can very easily move it to the back like that. And then you've just got a regular crossbody. Now the uh, front buckle here, this might annoy me. <laughs> I sound easily annoyed, huh? But the way you get into it is really different. You flip it down, and then it just pulls right up. So it's not hard to do at all. It's just, I think I would prefer this actually to the kind that you squeeze, like my other um, Michael Kors bags, and uh, like my Bichette Matisse. That would bug me. But this is nice. It's really well made. One thing I was noticing too when I was unwrapping it, and I've seen that in other videos, it seems like Michael Kors is no longer sending um, any dust bags with the purchases. I mean, if you're going to spend this much money, why would you not want a dust bag? I don't understand that. Let's see, it has a tag in here. If it has the original price. No, and that's the other weird thing is that their items are not. Um, showing the original price. I think this was originally supposed to be like, let me look it up. Well, I think it was about 350 or something like that. I'll put the information down below. So there's not any price on the tag. That's interesting. No dust bag that I could see. One of the other things I liked about this is that it is not lined, which I think is cool, or it's just lined with more of the smooth leather. You've got a pocket right here. It's got the little care booklet in there. So you have a slip pocket in here, a nice big pocket in the front, another pocket in the front part here. It's a very stiff little bag. And then you have this open area. So I really do like that it is not lined. I think that's kind of something new and interesting. Like my, um, Kate Spade Tegan bag. I enjoy that that's not really lined either. It, it is kind of lined with a microfiber backing, but it's not lined lined with cloth, if you know what I mean. So to me, it's a lot easier to keep it clean. And then on the front areas, there are no pockets. That's nice. I like this. It's very different. It seems like it'll be um, practical. So let me come back and I will show you what fits. Okay guys, I packed this baby full, probably much fuller than I normally would just to see how she expands and how much fits. So I can tell you right now, I think this chain is going to bug me. <laughs> I will wear it because I love it. I think it's beautiful, but when you're getting into the bag, the whole chain has to flop back and that's kind of annoying. But in the back pocket here, I wanted to make sure that my phone would fit and it will. This is the case for it. It's a tight squeeze right now, but it'll probably loosen up as I wear it. I have problems with Michael Kors not making the slip pockets big enough for a regular size phone. This is not a big phone. It's just a Samsung um, Galaxy S10. And uh, so I was happy to see this pocket does fit. And she really does carry a surprising amount. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's just adorable. I put it on and the way they have it adjusted right now is in the very center hole. 
I'm 5'6", and this is a very short crossbody on me. So if you're taller, you will definitely want to be adjusting it to the lower holes there. I was kind of surprised because crossbodies usually are kind of long on me. So let me flip it open and look at everything I got in there. That's a lot. <laughs> For a relatively small bag that's quite a bit so I have in here my little pouch with some extra masks and some gum and this is that little tip I put a pack of mint gum in with my mask so when I put them on my face they smell good good tip <laughs> and then in here I have my Nolita 15 which is amazing that it fit in there but it fit with absolutely no problem at all and you could probably even get some more little lipsticks or something on the side there so that fit and that's a pretty wide little pouch and then I have my coach wallet the little zip I think it's a zip card case wallet and poppy and then I have my little uh, self-defense packet that I usually have with me and that's a pretty thick little thing too so I didn't put anything in this slip pocket here but you could easily put receipts in there you could put a little card holder if you want to free up room for other things like glasses and stuff and this little thing is actually very easy to use you just line up the circle and flip so I do like that that is really cute and this leather like I said is smooth and it's just kind of a different type of leather from what I'm used to for the Michael Kors bags. I'm used to them having like the, well, one of mine is the lamb skin, but it's just a really nice look. It's kind of a squishy look to it. Very pretty. So this is the Michael Kors Medium Lita and the color is Luggage. And the original price of this is um, $378. I looked it up. And then I got it for 70% off and I checked and it is still 70% off right now. Um, and then they have a smaller size that's much smaller and they come in all different colors. They had black, luggage, pink, and I think they might even have some with the logo on there. So there you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.